Hi, today I'm going to show you how to do a text cutout effect here in Photoshop. Uh, we're going to start with a photograph that I took of, uh, I guess what you'd call a wood grain, a piece of, a piece of uh, driftwood on the beach, all right? And it uh, started out as a, a simple JPEG, but I've saved it um, as a Photoshop file, and um, I've got my layers on the right-hand side here. Uh, my layers window visible. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the background under layers and I'm going to say duplicate layer. Okay, and uh, I'll just call this texture. Alright, so now we have our original background and we've got our texture layer. Now uh, if we click on background again and just in the upper right hand corner of the layers palette uh, we choose new layer okay and uh, and we'll call this uh, flat color all right and because I clicked on the background layer here when I add the new layer it goes directly above that which puts it under the texture layer which is what I want okay I want it between but if you find that it's not there you can simply drag it okay into position all right now um, I've clicked on flat color here so it is uh, the selected layer, uh, we can hide, you know, click the little eye here, um, and uh, we're, you know, we're hiding that layer, but the background is, is underneath as well. If we click the eye on both of them, we'll see uh, n no, no distractions here in the center. Now we can uh, choose a color here and go to our paint bucket. Um, if you don't see your paint bucket in that position, just click and hold. It may be the gradient tool that you're seeing. Choose paint bucket. All right, and then uh, click in this empty space, and you'll see that our our flat color layer is now uh, the red that we've chosen. Now we can click on the little eye here to make our texture visible. All right and uh, let's go ahead and click on that layer and um, now we're going to go to the text tool on the left here all right and um, we are going to uh, you know you can choose your fonts from from up here uh, for some reason my system's acting a little bit slow at the moment but uh, Let's try the Gil Sans Ultra Bold. All right, and we'll just go for centered in our text attributes here, and we'll click. And I'm just gonna put in capitals the word text. Now, um, in the upper right hand side of your text properties, click your little arrow, and here we have our text. Um, the little check, it's not an arrow, sorry, that's a check mark. You, you click the check mark so that um, you've accepted what you've typed as the text that you want, but once you've clicked the check mark, you can go in and change globally uh, things like the size here. So if we pop that up to 72, for example, um, which is far too small for this purpose, uh, let's try 250, and that might be a little bit too big so I'm gonna to go to 220 alright now if you want to uh, perfectly center this text with the uh, with the the texture beneath it um, make sure that you click on your text layer here hold down your shift key and click on the texture uh, layer so both are selected okay now you can go to your layer uh, menu command and go to a line and say vertical centers okay once again layer align and horizontal centers puts us right in the middle of that page all right and that um, you know just so that you know if you're if you're doing this at a future time uh, in another kind of file um, you can click on one layer and if you control click instead of shift you know shift will give you this it'll it'll select everything right but if you 
click on um, the one layer you want to align and control click on the background right uh, generally your background has full scope so when it centers to it it'll be centered to the whole image um, you can also use your you know that as your uh, alignment um, area so we we'll click on text here that layer and let's go uh, to our um, magic wand all right and here we want to uncheck contiguous in the properties all right and again if you don't see your magic wand it may be the quick select just click and hold on the quick selection tool and, and uh, hover over that and release and you'll you'll have the correct tool um, so as I mentioned don't have contiguous checked off all right and uh, you know, if you've got your text at a flat color, um, tolerance can be anywhere from from zero up. Uh, there's nothing else but your text on your text layer. So when we click, the text is selected. Okay. Now, um, what we're going to do is hide that text layer. Okay. And then we're going to click on the texture layer just below it. All right. And we have this selection in the shape of the text okay and what we can now do is simply say edit cut alright and what we've done is we've cut out see if we hide the flat color we see the uh, little boxes that indicate a, a transparency um, if you have uh, your background visibility on you won't see that right but uh, if we've got that turned off, we'll see uh, that uh, it has indeed been cut out. Right? It's not an overlaying of red text here. It's actually a, a cutout showing the red color beneath. Now you can uh, double click to the right of the um, word texture on that layer and you'll get your layer style dialog that comes up. All right and uh, you can select such things as drop shadows you see that adds a, a nice um, uh, three-dimensionality to to your drop it and if you you know if you check it it becomes applied but you actually click on the word uh, the words drop shadow and you can go in and you can you can set um, you know the, the lighting angles etc right and uh, you know, decide what what your sizes, etc., are going to be. Okay. Now there's there's also um, things like uh, inner shadow. Okay, and you see how uh, how that gives a whole other dimensionality here but it uh, doesn't quite look like a cutout when you do that it makes the uh, text look more like it's floating right but that's another option for you um, we have uh, the outer glow okay which uh, can give a nice edge to um, the cutout all right uh, we have uh, inner glow okay uh, similar kind of effect um, in in this case uh, we've got uh, bevel and emboss, all right, which will, uh, as you can see, round out the, um, the round out the corners, or, or the I should say the edges of uh, of the cutout, and give it even more uh, three dimensionality, as it were, all right, and um, you know there's uh, you know a satin would just give an overlay to the wood. Uh, similar to color overlay all right um, depending on you know what effect you're going for uh, you may not be using a um, a texture as I have here it may just be a flat color uh, in which case uh, something like gradient overlay um, might be a, a cool option uh, all of these of course when you click on the actual um, entry you can play with the different settings all right um, and that is uh, 
basically how you would do a text cutout effect in Photoshop. Uh, visit my my website uh, helpvideoguru.com uh, for more videos and information.